and go and sing in the choir. All right. But God know you got needs. Right. I'm telling you, listen what he say. He say, such teachers have come through hypocritical liars. He said, and you sitting up here believing that when you know God say, you know I've been telling you, you better stop that smoking. You better stop doing what you're doing. He said, because you fail to believe because pastor can't see it, but you thinking I'm going to do what I want to do in the bedroom. Don't nobody know what I'm doing. I'm a grown woman. I pay my own bills. I pay my, don't nobody tell me what to do. And God said, you're a hypocrite. He said, because see what you're doing, it, and just because your pastor said, yeah, you may come to church every Tuesday, every Thursday, whatever. Your, that your Bible study is come there faithfully and your pastor telling you you faithful God said you're a hypocrite he said because I see what you're doing behind the scenes I see what you're doing when don't nobody know what you're doing you being a hypocrite why are you being a hypocrite because he been dealing with you to tell you to stop but because your pastor told you you alright you feel like you alright all right. when you read the word and he showed you what you were doing was wrong but you still said but God my pastor said I'm alright. He said, no, what you doing? You liking me, but you don't love me. Amen. He said, because verse 6 says, for if you point these things out to your brothers, you will be a good minister. What you saying, preacher? I'm saying that if you are called a believer, a disciple of Christ, he said, you got to point it out to your brother and your sister. So where is this business where people, oh, you can't judge me. Oh, you can't tell me what to do. The devil is a liar. He told Keeper, because if I see my brother doing something wrong, I'm gonna tell my brother the truth. Yes, amen. But see, we'll get so offended, we get so offensive in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. You can't tell me what to do, you just judging me. But what did he say? He said, if you point these things out to your brothers, did he say the pastor? Did he say the apostle, the prophet, the teacher? He said, if you point these things out to your brother, you will be a good minister of Christ Jesus. He said, brought up in the truth of the faith. He said, and of the good teaching that you have followed. He said, have nothing to do with godless myth and old wives tale. He said, rather train yourself to be godly. You mean I got to train myself to be godly? Yes, you got to train yourself to be godly. Because when all your friends go to the club, Holy Spirit dealing with you now, you don't need to go to the club. That's how he trained you to be godly. Right. Then when somebody, everybody else cussing and laughing at stuff that ain't funny, and Holy Spirit telling you now, you shouldn't be laughing with that. No, you don't need to be going on with that. That's how he teaching you how to be godly. Yes. See, we'll take so much appearance on making sure we look good on the outside. Come on now. But our inside don't know it. Yes. He's saying, because when I look at you, do I know you? Yes. Do you like me or you just or you love me? Because see, your life says you're gonna like what's on the outside. Mm -hmm. You only like God for what He do for you. See, the thing is, he showed me about the difference between these lights and this loving him. Because if you like him, you're going to change when you're going through. Because right. I understand, when I love him, when my body racking with pain and when I'm going through warfare, I still got to love him. I still got to pray. I still got to fast. I still got to come to church. And I still got to preach even when I'm going through. That's right. Amen. Because my love... For him, don't stop because I'm going through. Now my question is to you. Why your love stop because you're going through? Why everybody feeling your wrath because you're going through warfare? Why everybody getting, they know turn, you turn your nose up everybody because you ain't feeling good. But you say, I love Jesus. Do you really love Jesus? Because if you love Jesus, Jesus is going to deal with you before you go and try to point this thing, what's wrong with your sister. See, the problem is with us in the body, we can point out everybody else's sin, come on, come on. but we don't see our own sin in our own face. That's right. That's right. See, to our own self, you got to be true. Amen. You got to say, you know what, God, you right, I got some issues. I got these things that I need you to work on me. And I'm not only when I go to church, I ain't going to say I just went to church just to go to church. No, I'm going to let that word hit me. I'm going to let it cut me. I'm going to let you do what you need to do with me because I know that it's all for my good. Because what did he tell me in Hebrews? He said, I chasten 
know who I love. Amen. See, but if you 